Hi, welcome to our Light Night Meet the Maker series. And um, I'm really delighted to be joined by Jacob Chan. Jacob's one of our emerging local potters. Um, and he, he's joining us from his studio on the Wirral. Hey, Jacob. Hi, uh, thanks for having me. Oh, lovely to see you. Thanks for, for kind of making the time for it. Um, I, I thought we'd kind of start with, with maybe, could you tell us how you started um, kind of working with clay and making uh, yes. ceramics? Absolutely, yeah. So it, it all started uh, during my A-levels, really. So we had a, a maker come into school to give a two-day sort of workshop, and it happened to be um, Emma Rogers, who um, I still keep in touch with, and we work closely together, and we've just actually finished a... Um, a collaboration and an exhibition together at the Walker Art Gallery. Um, so yeah, she came in and she gave this amazing two-day workshop and as soon as I touched clay I absolutely fell in love with it um, and I really didn't think that you know that something like that could happen but it did, it just it just it happened and that became my passion and I knew that that's what I wanted to do um, as a career. So um, it took it took off from there and I did um, like a unofficial apprenticeship with Emma for two years um, and that was running alongside my A-levels and um, so I helped her out in the studio she she taught me how to um, manipulate the clay and work figuratively um, and from there that's where I decided I'd like to go to university and um, study it further. Great and um, folk might recognise you from the TV uh, the great pottery throwdown which you did incredibly well to get through to the final three of that show. It, obviously, they're not the one that's just completed, but the one before yes. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, what what impact, Jacob, did that have on? Would you say on your on your making and your practice in a, in a kind of wider sense? Um, for me, the show was just a massive sort of confidence boost. It's given me that sort of drive to sort of, to, to speak to people to, to get to know people more to really sort of focus on my work and, and, and be able to to get it out there um, it was an amazing opportunity and, and experience and applying I never thought I'd get as far as I did um, but yeah here I am <laughs> and um, I met some amazing people along the way and you know developed my techniques and skills even uh, further it taught me it really did teach me a whole new way of working um, to a time pressure, to, to other pressures, and that um, I can do it. I can sort of, you know, if I put my mind to it, I can I can get it done. Um, so um, it was it was a, it's been a massive massive help in my my career, um, both both um, for just like inspiration and sort of um, developing skills, but also on the side of social media and um, sales too. So um, something that you don't really think about when you're starting off as a as a new new maker um, or ceramicist but there's definitely that business side and it's, it's definitely helped me help me develop that too yeah well I thought we thought you did brilliantly we were incredibly proud of you and thought that you came across so well and actually it gave you know I think the useful thing for shows like that I know sometimes folk can be a bit snobby about um you know these kind yeah. of um it, because they feel it, it's sort of um I don't know, it, it makes it, it kind of demystifies, but actually from our point of view, and, and maybe you found the same, is that it just gives people a greater appreciation into what goes into, you know, yeah, making definitely. ceramics. And, um, and also I think they understand a little bit more about the techniques and the and the making and the makers and 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 also you know why things perhaps are, are sold at the price levels that they are yeah absolutely i think i think the show did a really good job of um and it has every every season it's done a really good job of explaining processes um you know really showing that ceramics is it's a it's more of like a, a warm family sort of feeling than than a you know pin other people against each other sort of competition so I know definitely when I was on the show everybody was helping each other we were all sort of um, a team um, almost so it was 
um, they did a really, really good job, I think, of, of explaining that and um, making everybody look look the best that they possibly could. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, I know you touched upon the um, the collaborative uh, work that you've just completed towards the yeah. new Walker Art Gallery displays that I'm, yeah. I'm thinking, hopefully, fingers crossed, by the time um, this uh, Zoom conversation is available. We're hoping yeah. the UCA will be back open to the public. And yeah. those fantastic displays that Nicholas Scott has curated in the Craft yeah. and Design Galleries and also in other there's other temporary exhibitions that are running across the yeah. um the Walker will be open and, and people will be able to go in and see the pieces yeah. you've made um and also the pieces you've collaborated, as you said, with with Emma on. Um, and I, I just wondered if you could just without revealing too much, um, tell us a little bit about um, about those new pieces and the yeah. collaborations. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, the I think the um, exhibitions come together really well. Nicola's done a, a, a wonderful job of setting all that up and she was absolutely brilliant to work with. Um, so yeah, me and Emma have have, um, along with uh, Julia's, Julia's work in there, have, have put together sort of a, a lost temple um, inspired installation. So um, there's lots to, I won't give away too much, but yeah, lots to, lots to see. Um, yeah. And I think the main focal point of that is the um, table, the collaboration that me and Emma have done is the table um, and the peacock. So that's, that stands stands high in the, in the case. Um, and really that was um, like a, Sort of pulling across upon pieces of artwork that are already um, in the permanent collection of the Walker. So a lot of the colours and the design that we took from was from um, Evelyn de Morgan's um, painting, um, Life and Thought Emerging from the Tomb. So um, I touched upon a lot of sort of colours and architectural forms of the table um, alongside taking inspiration from a Staffordshire table that's in there uh, currently. Uh, I thought that would be just a nice sort of tie to the walker to, to keep that there. And then Emma's taken the figurative side of the peacock and uh, really brought that together. And I think we've, we've just really managed to, to bring that together really well with the, with the circumstances of, you know, not being able to work um, together and closely together on this sort of project. So it's, it's come together really nicely. And I, I think she's done an amazing job. But everybody's done a a wonderful yeah. shop in there. I've had I've had a sneaky peek and um I think as you said it really evokes you know the, the whole cabinet so you and Emma um your work independently but also the collaborative pieces you just mentioned yes. and the work of Julia Carter Preston who's um obviously um people may or may yeah. not know Julia Carter Preston was the an amazing ceramic artist who actually was our neighbor here in the blue coat had the studio next door for many decades and um, and really, um, you know, just an incredible uh, advocate of the sgraffito technique. And, um, and obviously the Walker have got some wonderful pieces in their collection, which they've, they've brought out and, and have formed this incredible cabinet display with yours and, and Emma's work. And I think, I think that, kind of relationship that you've talked about that um working relationship um between yeah. you and emma i think has probably um you know led to the to the wonderful success of of those collaborative pieces you yeah. know you, you know yeah. each other and, you, and each other's work so well that perhaps yeah. um during lockdown you know you didn't yeah. you didn't need to um to see each other as as kind of a new partnership might have had to so Yes, congratulations yeah. on it it's it's amazing oh, I, I can't wait until everyone can see it and yeah. you you know you get all that lovely feedback that I'm sure will inevitably um result and I know I mean it's still very much um you know identifiable as as your work Jacob as as Emma's is hers and and your work tends to have that influence anyway from from your dad's side of the family, doesn't it? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To draw upon that side, you know, being half Chinese and half English, uh, I, I do try and incorporate my cultural heritage into it. That way. So um, I just think it's it's um, speaks from me, and it's a lot easier for when I'm making um, 
I suppose it's just it's in my blood, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it just comes across so beautifully, just a kind of natural. And I think the glazes that you use and the forms and the decoration um, and, and we can see just in the, just behind you, you know, that um, that piece that's that's unglazed, you know, all those um, all that kind of imagery and the really yes. sculptural pieces, you know, it just um, I think that it's a kind of it's one all those wonderful references, isn't it, really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so um, have you got anything anything else exciting that you can talk about happening this year? What else what else are you are you doing or has have you know are things starting to come back on track after all the disruptions can you know caused by the lockdowns? It's it's been um lockdown's been been good and it's been bad. But, you know, I, I I think I benefited from the show really um in that sense. So I have had work to be able to get on with and um pieces to carry on um doing and exploring but um i did have a lot of shows sort of lined up last year that i was going going to go to and do and just haven't been able to to get to them um you know like crap like um hatfield art and clay which is now going to be um Win at windsor um so i i really look forward to them because I'm, I'm new to it all and that was that was something that i i'd help out at and sort of get experience and meet new people um, and for me that's that's what a lot of it's always been about just meeting meeting people um yeah. that are like minded and you know sharing sharing ideas i think that's the best sort of um way to do it yeah and i guess for for a new potter you know not only do you get to meet you know lots of other potters at lots of different stages of their careers and who work in lots of different ways so you have yes. those conversations but you also have direct conversations with the public so with people who um you know might be interested in buying your yeah. work too which um i think sometimes yeah. that direct feedback i know you know as a, as a as a gallery we often hear the things that that makers don't always get to you yeah. know we hear the yeah. lovely comments the lovely feedback um so it must be great for you to to have that face to face you know yeah that's that's one of the things i enjoy the most find out who you know who's buying my work and um I can I really get that sense of appreciation from it and it's just such a lovely feeling to to meet to meet those people and have and have that about your work so um that's something I've, I've missed and I hopefully this year with the restrictions being lifted um we'll be doing a couple of um shows towards the end of the year but um other than that I, I'm I think I, I think what I'll be developing further is I'll be trying to get some bronzes done so they'll be my first bronzes mm -hmm um of of some vases and they'll they'll sort of be linked to the um again the chinese anti antiquities and sort of old um and um, sort of like bronze bells and stuff that they do so uh, it's a new medium for me to work in but I, I think it's definitely something that i've been admiring for a long time because i know that emma and you know peter hayes and ian gregory all people who i've taken massive inspiration from over these years of have gone down that route of and I think it's just a it's a it's a beautiful sort of um new material to work in yeah and I could imagine your you know your work in ceramic translating really well into bronze so I'd be really excited to see the results of Absolutely. that and um and we're really hoping to um obviously we've got some we we tend to always have some pieces of your work available here but um, what we're trying to do with the um, to support the partnership with the Walker, obviously their static displays and the work in those shows is not for sale. Um, so what we're trying to do is, um, and the Walker are going to point people in the direction of the display centre for anyone who wants to buy pieces similar to those they maybe see in the displays. Um, so we're looking forward to having maybe um, a spotlight of your work a little bit later on in the year. So um, That'd be yeah, wonderful. That'd be great. So that, yeah, we'd look forward to that too. So yeah. um, well, thanks so much, Jacob. Thanks for your time. And it's it's great to see you in the studio. And um, and I'm, you know, I've got fingers crossed that everything starts up again for you and um, and you get to do some of those lovely direct selling shows. Yeah, oh, thank you. No, I'm, I'm hoping the same too. But, you know, it's been it's been really nice getting to, to chat to you about. about, about things and yeah, this is yeah. yeah. OK, oh, well, we'll keep in touch and um, 
and good luck with the Walker displays too. I can't wait for everyone to Thank see you. them. Thanks. Congratulations yeah, okay. on them. They're, they're amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Speak to you soon. Take care. Thanks. Take care.